Good Monday morning, boys and girls. This week, we are going to learn about toads and frogs. These are other animals that we see a lot of in the spring and the summer months. So let's learn about the differences and the similarities of toads and frogs. We can compare and contrast them. That means compare is to see what's the same about them and contrast is to look at what's different about them. Now, this is another nonfiction book. Miss Notice has been teaching us about nonfiction. So this book will have real pictures in it and it will teach us real facts about real frogs and toads. Comparing animal differences, toads and frogs. This book was written by M.J. York. Leggy Amphibian. Oops, leggy amphibian. So this was a chapter book, it has chapter one, and this is the heading, leggy amphibian. Can you say that word, boys and girls? That's a hard word to say, amphibian. Good, an amphibian sits on a rock near a pond. Its long legs are folded under its body. Suddenly, its tongue shoots out from its mouth. It snags a fly, lunchtime. Is this hungry creature a frog or a toad? How are they different? Amphibians such as frogs usually live near water. Chapter two, toads. Toads have warty, bumpy skin. It means they have bumps all over them. Most have dull colors like brown or gray. Their skin looks dry. Toads can spend periods of time away from the water. Many have poisonous glands behind their eyes. The glands make a milky liquid that burns predators. Now remember, predators are the animals that hunt for toads that try to eat them. Many toads puff themselves up so that predators cannot swallow them. Toads have short, fat bodies. Their heads are round. Their toes are not usually webbed. They are not good jumpers. Their legs are good for short hops and for digging. Toads dig burrows. Remember, burrows are holes in the ground. They dig burrows with their back legs. They sleep through the winter in these burrows. So if they're sleeping through the winter, that means they're hibernators. Cane toads are from Central and South America, but they spent, spread to other places, including Australia and parts of the United States. Toad eggs are kept in long, clear tubes of jelly. Wow, look at these toad eggs. Most toads lay eggs in water. The eggs are closed in long tubes of jelly. There can be thousands of eggs in each long line. The eggs hatch into tadpoles. The tadpoles later change into toads. They, these hatch into small toads, I'm sorry, but some kinds of toads lay eggs on land. These hatch into small toads. A few toads do not lay legs at all and their babies are born from their bodies. Wow, I thought only mammals had babies born from their bodies, but apparently some toads do too. That's an interesting fact. Chapter three. Frogs. Frogs have smooth skin. Some are brownish or greenish. Others have bright colors. Their skin looks shiny. Frogs stay near water. They need to keep their skin wet. Some frogs make poison under their skin. So you can see this one is very colorful. Usually the more colorful they are, the more poisonous they are. And they their bright colors warn the predators, stay away from me, you won't like me. Some 
people build ponds in their gardens for frogs to live. Frogs have thinner bodies than toads. Their heads are pointed. Very long legs make them good jumpers. Many have webbed toes on their back legs. This helps them swim. Tree frogs usually use sticky pads on their front toes for climbing. I've had a tree frog climbing up my leg. I guess it thought my leg was a tree. <laughs> Some frogs survive winter underwater. Others hide in leaves. A type of sugar in their body lets them freeze without dying. They thaw in the spring and wake up. Frog legs lay eggs in the water. They lay eggs in bunches like grapes. Many frogs survive being frozen in the water. So frogs are hibernators. They sleep all winter. Chapter four, what's the difference? Let's see how they're different. Toads have bumpy dry skin and short legs for digging. They can live away from the water. Frogs have smooth moist skin and long legs for jumping. They stay close to the water. There are many types of toads and frogs. They are all closely related. Some have features of both frogs and toads. Some toads are smooth. Some frogs live in dry places, but they are all exciting. Toads can be found on every continent except for Antarctica. If you remember, Antarctica is where the penguins live. So it's very, very cold there. I guess it's too cold for frogs and toads. So if we look at these diagrams, which most nonfiction books have a lot of diagrams, and it has labels, which Ms. Notice also taught us about. So this is a diagram of a toad. It shows its bumpy skin, its short, fat bodies, its feet are not webbed. They take short hops. They spend the winter in burrows, which are holes in the ground, and they lay eggs in long tubes. Frogs have thinner bodies, smooth skin. They have webbed feet to help them be good swimmers. They are good jumpers because they have long legs. They freeze during the winter and they lay eggs in bunches. All right, boys and girls. So let's take a look in our classroom today. So this is the book that we just read and you can watch this video also about frogs and toads and see how, see more information about how they're the same and how they're different. Okay, and there's also how to draw frogs and toads down bottom if you want to do some guided drawing. All right, boys and girls, we'll talk more about the differences and the similarities of toads and frogs tomorrow. Have a great day, boys and girls.